Golly. That's some good cartilage right there. You know how much protein's in that thing? Hi guys, we're Nights. I'm Ray. I'm Julian. And Julian, we're having fun today. Yes, we are. Right, we're watching Firefly. Yes, we are. We're knocking these out. Yes, we are. You no, know, we've been holding on these way too long. Yes, we and are. And after watching the last episode, I realized we are missing out. Yes, we are. I forgot how good the show is. Yep. You forget. Like, there's so many things going on. You put it, you get right back to this, like, you know how people say every year they watch, you know, Band of Brothers and rewatch it every year once yeah. a year? Yeah, yeah. This is what we should be doing with Firefly. <laughs> once yeah. a year, yeah. just rewatch them. Uh, for a long time, I did that with Avatar with my kids. But anyway, this episode coming up right now, this is part 10 of Firefly. This is called War Stories. The last episode, we we saw that Jane... Is a scumbag rat. Yeah, yeah. He, that, I, 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 you and I voted him out. Yeah. But the captain didn't see it that way. So uh, but at, towards the end of the episode, we, see, we did see that the doctor uh, did come through for his sister. And I'm wondering the medicine that he has now, I wonder how that's going to affect her actions from here to from here on i feel like well if it is still following continuum then i feel like it's gonna make her more sane and like less fearful of everything so hopefully you know we get to see a recovered river yep. where she's like actually a super genius and hopefully a radar whenever there's trouble because she, she says it's trouble every time there's around yeah 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 a more reliable one and the show started with her slashing jane I wonder if that was a revenge before the actions took place. Probably. I feel like that was the prophetic thing I was right? saying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, let's get to this. This is War Stories, episode 10, Firefly. Let's have some fun. One of our long rangers picked up a reed on the other side of the world. Might be Serenity. Malcolm Reynolds' ship. Oh. Oh, this is exciting news. Yeah, send a team. Bring him here to me. Very exciting. Yes, sir. That's frightening. Ah, are you familiar with the works of Sean Yu? <laughs> what a way to tie in the episode. Wow. Loki, I'm going to go look up a book of Sean Yu now. <laughs> Afterward. I said yes already. Where's the outstanding issue? The counselor is an important political figure and a very private person. I so he visits you here instead of you going to his place. Fuck. What is the ship not clean enough? I just want the counselor to feel comfortable. <laughs> and when I say comfortable, I mean totally alone. I'd appreciate it if you'd keep the others from ogling. One of you is going to fall and die, and I'm not cleaning it up. She took my <laughs> apple. Jane bought a crate of them. And this one's mine. Not anymore. I mean, it looks like she's recovered pretty well. She's laughing, smiling, running around. Yeah, because she somehow throws a fireball at her. <laughs> These really are the genuine article. I can get used to being rich. It's Jane being so generous with this cut that confuses and frightens me. It does kind of freeze the blood. Yeah, yeah, there's a reason. So how come you always cut your apples? You do? Her and the captain both. Our platoon was stuck in a trench outside of New Casimir during the winter campaign. More than a week, completely cut off, and the Alliance entrenched not ten yards away. We even got to talking to him. We mentioned that we were out of rations, and ten minutes later, a bunch of apples rained into the trench. Blew off their heads, huh? Don't make much noise. Just little pops, and there's three guys that kind of just end at the rib cage. That wasn't a bad idea, Wash, but eliminating the middleman, never as simple as it sounds. You've heard about my, about 50% of the human race is middlemen, and they don't take kindly to being eliminated. This quadrant, we play nice. Got enemies enough as it is. You have no idea. What did you think of it? Of what? My idea. Call the local MDs. Forget the fence, go straight to the source. Better prices, 
And we know the drugs get to the right people. I am a large, semi-muscular man. I can take it. Don't hide behind Mal, because you know he'll shoot it down for you. Tell me. Right. Because what this marriage needs is one more shouting match. No, what this marriage needs is one less husband. Ooh. Ouch. I think I'm right, and she's still into Mal. No, she's not into Mal. Mal, she... No, it's not. No, no, you're wrong. I don't agree with you 100%. She's military. It's a war buddy. How you feel now? Apple bits coming back up. Chaos. Maybe without running around. I mean, she just stood in the in bed. I hate the bits. The bits that stay down when I work. I function like I'm a girl. I hate it because I know it'll go away. Jesus, what kind of flowers of Algernon is this? I threw up on your bed. <laughs> Airlock. <laughs> Didn't Inara express a wish for privacy? Oh, you gotta see who she's got. <laughs> that he's handsome. I think he's gonna bring her flowers. Oh! This episode just became a thousand times better, straight up. All right, Gene. I'll uh, be in my bunk. <laughs> I'll be at the bunk? <laughs> yeah, I'll be. <laughs> well, get it set. Would you wash? We gotta get moving. Here's a funny twist. No. Thought I might take this run instead. Me and the captain. The captain who's standing right here telling you that's not gonna happen? I can't stand the thought of something happening that might cause you two to come back with another thrilling tale of bonding and adventure. Okay, um, I'm lost. Uh, I'm angry and I'm armed. <laughs> Bye, Han. We promise not to stop for beers with the fellas. So, are we gonna sing army songs or something? Dude, he just said he's angry and armed. Which is one of the, the best lines so far. Listen, I, 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 get, I get why he's doing it, though. Like, why he feels this way. No, I get it. I get it, but... <sighs> that feels amazing. Sorry, I got distracted right. by this. What, were we, what were we talking about? <laughs> it almost it doesn't matter anymore, that what was going on in my head just now. I wouldn't have been here weeks ago. And that would have been a shame for me as well. Please tell me this is HBO. No, this <laughs> is regular TV. There's no need for the show, Anara. I just need to relax with someone who's making no demands on me. You are so lovely. It's like I've seen her before. She looks like Alyssa Milano, but I'm not saying anything. That would be amazing if that is Alyssa Milano. We'll have to rewatch this episode again. <laughs> this will be the first time ever on our night that we react to an episode three times. <laughs> Same episode. Yeah. <laughs> nice to know you're still trustworthy. I'm not so trustworthy. I don't want to see the money you promised me. So I'll go. <laughs> Now I'm learning about scary. See your team six has popped out of nowhere. <laughs> well, now he's going to be seen as trustworthy and his, his reputation takes a hit. Um, out. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, grab your weapon. Why, well, what's going on? Maybe nothing, maybe trouble. The drop? They're late. They should have been back more an hour ago. A whole hour? Waited a whole hour for this? I'll go with you. No offense, Shepard, but I sure as hell hope they don't need a preacher. Three sets of eyes are better than two. Listen, the preacher, for all we know, Listen, is I'm, a sharpshooter. The preacher is the head of an international criminal organization that d deals in drug trafficking, human trafficking, and the whole lot, and his he preacher self something. is just the overhead. His wounds, I'd say a 54R sniper rifle. 
Look at laser him. sights. We do a lot of shooting at the Abbey there, Shepard. Rabbits. For Stu, sure. I don't want you to spare me, Mal. If you think you know what's happening, then you tell me. You wouldn't spare Zoe if she were in this situation with you, would you? So maybe he's also feeling a very emasculated in the relationship. Well, I'm like... sure. Listen, he had a legit claim. What he shouldn't interfere was work. Mm -hmm. Mal, she's my wife. Huh? What gives you the right to put her in a dangerous situation like this? I did it. You did. I mean, I'm the one that she swore to love, honor, and obey. Listen, if she swore to obey. <laughs> 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 She obeys you. There's obeying going on right under my nose. It's not so. There's plenty of orders of mine that she didn't obey. Name what? She married you. Hey. That cut deep. Really deep. Not the fish you want to see. Me, A lot of pop in there. I'm gonna say it again. Chipboard romances complicate things. <laughs> well, what about love? I love how we can't enjoy this because they're genuinely. Could be a lot simpler than that. Could be. I just don't think you're good enough for Zoe. Ooh. Zoe and I. We got a history, and I figured you've got to be asking yourself some fundamental questions as to the nature of that history. You never slept with my wife? Oh, in fact, you know that for sure, do you? You ever ask her? This is so entertaining. <laughs> oh, you want me to sleep with her? Would that make you feel better? Am I? <laughs> I imagine it'd do wonders for her, too. Screw you! <laughs> Get in line. <laughs> he genuinely can't enjoy it, too. I'm gonna take your wife into my bed. <laughs> I'm gonna get me a face out. <laughs> they are perhaps damaged now. They worth so much to you. Yes. And to me, they are worth more. I think this is not enough. Not enough for two. But sufficient, perhaps, for one. Ah, oh, that's smart. I'm sorry. You're going to ask me to choose, right? Do you want to finish? Who did she <laughs> choose? I think she chose Wash. Yeah, she yeah, chose Wash. A moment, please. This money, uh, it is too much. A yen massa. You should have some small refund. Oh. Golly. That's some good cartilage right there. You know how much protein's in that thing? Dude, this guy's gonna have to pay his due. Like, it's not just escaping him. Like, he has to go down. He's too bad. Yeah. How are they gonna do it, though? Dude. Look at how burnt his flesh is. You can see the imp, like, where it was searing him. This is a horrifying episode. Yeah. Equally funny, though, that they kept fighting over <laughs> Zoe. He wouldn't break Zoe. He kept me from... I wouldn't have made it. Well, now you realize. Nisk is gonna kill him. He's gonna make it last as long as possible. Days, if he can. Bastard's not gonna get days. Are we about to see Wash's, like, turnaround? Take that to the infirmary, put it on ice. What, what is that? Cezir. We're getting them back. What are we gonna do? Clone them? <laughs> <laughs> Let us see if we can meet the real you. What is this gonna do? Is this some kind of drug? Oh my oh. god! What the hell? Jesus Christ. That became alien really quickly. 
This should do. Preacher, don't the Bible have some pretty specific things to say about killing? Quite specific. It is, however, somewhat fuzzier on the subject of kneecaps. <laughs> what? Let's go get the cat. As a person with bad kneecaps, I understand. <laughs> Let's go. Ah. That nade? Damn! Miracle! Shoot him! That was a knee. <laughs> Dude, I hope the whole the, I hope they blow the whole station up. I'm used to the old lover pulls actually having to pull, so her not pulling it is just like freaking me out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he's probably supercharged right now. Dude, I would be too. You want to meet the real me now? Oh, I thought he got hit in the head. <laughs> I mean, she is a mechanic. I can't expect it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my God, River is River gonna go? What the fuck? Holy shit! Let her loose. No power in the verse can stop me. That's what they were trying to do. They were trying to make her into a weapon. A weapon. There's something the captain has to do for himself. No, no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they lit him up. But where's Visca? Dude, he got lit up. Where's that go? Did he just get sawed in half? Jesus. I hear you all took up arms in that little piece of action back there. How are you faring with that, Doctor? I don't know. I, uh, yeah, I never, never shot anyone before. I was there, son. I'm fair sure you haven't shot anyone yet. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell her? Tell her what? Your husband has demanded that we sleep together. Mal, come on. He seems to think it would get all this burning sexual tension out in the open. You know, make a fair fight for your womanly affections. Take me, sir. Take me hard. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even do it. They can't even fake it. Not <laughs> bunk. <laughs> they couldn't even fake it. They're so uncomfortable. <laughs> Ah, it was a good episode. That was that, amazing. That was really good. Oh, I love wow, that. Wow, that was fantastic. <laughs> Woo. Dude, that that episode took out got so much emotions out of me. I got hype when they all got, you know, uh, 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 armed up and go back for the captain. I really like they didn't use I really like that they didn't use that cliche line where like they would usually go like who's in and then everybody goes I I I mm. and then Jane's like the last one that's like oh what the hell we're all going to die anyways. I really like no, that they didn't they, use they, that. They didn't do that. <laughs> but at the same time I like that uh uh Zoe not Zoe. Um, oh my god, the mechanic. I'm drawing a blank on her name right now. They she was like, you know, he would have came back for us. You know, this, this, yeah. this is the thing we got to do. He would have definitely came back for us, right? And again, by the way, the first shot that Bishop did was a perfect shot to the kneecap. Yeah. Without aiming, he just, boom, you know, again, showing his mystery. He's, but, he's an assassin. He's an assassin. Something, I bet right? You. Something. Yeah. And then you have the summer. Yeah, summer was insane. River. You're talking about River. River. Yeah. Summer. Her real name is River. Summer. Yeah. But like, that no shooting, per perfect eye, aim. Doom, 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 and they were out. Like, there, there were three yeah. shots, three dead. But we left his men alive, though. 
Yeah, yeah, this guy. Uh, don't know if he'll be back again due to the stupid decisions of uh, corporate to cancel this show. But golly, that was a good episode. That was really good. I uh, yeah. Why are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Putting this on hold. What's going on? I, I, what, what are we doing? We just haven't had the time. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That, that thing kind of sucks. What are you guys? This was episode ten. War stories. I'm, I think I'm gonna say this is one of the best episodes I've seen. Definitely, uh, definitely. Top, top, top three. Maybe top three. Maybe not the number one yet. Uh, we have more to do. We have more to watch. Uh, the episode where Mal was having those flashbacks and that—that's still one of my favorites. You know, yeah, me too. Me too. Um, but uh, to the show, fantastic. I was surprised that Mal was able to was able to come out of being tortured and go hand to hand, toe to toe with that guy. Uh, believe me, when he punched that old man in the face, I was so excited. That was, uh, yeah, hit him harder. <laughs> Hit him harder. Do you that know the tool, Shen Yu? Eh. That torture tool he put on him. That was, was digging deep inside him, and it was, it was crazy. Yeah, it was well, rough. Anyway, guys, this was episode ten, War Stories. Uh, this and many others episodes that we have done, and uh, you will see our reactions to it unedited on our Patreon. You can watch this and a bunch of other episodes there for as little as one dollar per month. Uh, you know, if you like what we're doing, guys, you know, we're going to ask you to please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, again, uh, we, we hope we knock these out sooner rather than later, finishing up yes. the series, because this series definitely deserves our attention, and I'm looking forward to watching the movie. Yes. How it ends, yeah, uh, yeah. How it wrapped up towards the end. But anyway, guys, listen, thanks for hanging out with us. I'm Ray. I'm Julian. We are nice guys. We'll see you soon. Take care. Peace. Peace.